with your body and honor where your body is right in this very minute. So that could be different than how you were feeling yesterday or the day before. And so just do what works for you. Sometimes I do lots of different things than I might do today because I'm not feeling up for it or I'm feeling more energetic and that's great. Okay, oh, this angle is so weird. I switched it up. Look at me, I'm straight on. Whoa, okay. So pull out your bum cheeks. <clears throat> Give yourself a little wiggle. Find a nice tall spine. Notice if your natural inclination is to kind of forward lean or lean backward slightly. And can you come into neutral spine and pelvis? So your rib cage right on top of your pelvis. Take a big inhale and a clearing, ha, exhale out of the mouth. Do that again, inhale through the nose. Audible, make some noise, ha, out of the mouth. Good, option to close your eyes if it feels okay for you. You never have to. If you don't want to, just find a soft focus on the ground in front of you. Next time you inhale, big inhale through the nose, allow the shoulders to rise up towards the ears. And then exhale, glide the shoulder blades down the back. So a couple more times, inhale, lift, exhale, bring them down. One more time, inhale, exhale, pull the shoulders down, keep them there. Hands can come to your body, one hand to chest, one hand to belly, only if it feels okay for you. Take a big inhale, feeling chest, rib cage, belly, expand, and then a deep exhale, maybe with a shushing noise to soften. Couple more times, inhale, breathe, inhale. I said inhale twice, I know, exhale. Shh. Noticing if you've got tension anywhere in your body, can you try to bring those exhales to those points and release slightly? Soften brow, soften jaw, soften shoulders. Good, I could sit here and breathe with you all morning. <clears throat> starting to add a little bit of fire to our breath. We're gonna start engaging our core. So imagine the abdominal region of your core as you exhale with a shh, you're gonna think about drawing your hip bones towards one another at the belly button and drawing rib cage and pubic bone towards one another. So inhale, expand, ribs, chest, belly, exhale, shh, drawing the middle line in. Keep going there, finding that connection. And this breath will maintain through the whole class, big juicy breaths that engage our core, protect our back, help our posture and strengthen us. Good, layering on the bottom part of our core, our pelvic floor, as you inhale, it also drops, expands. As you exhale with a shh, think about pulling up rectum, perineum, engaging abdominal core. Inhale, grow. Soften, expand, exhale, shh, connect in. Two more, just like that. So imagine as you exhale, you're lifting up your pelvic floor, holding in a P gently, not a squeezing or a tightening, just a gentle lift. Last one, inhale. Deep exhale, shh. Bringing hands to the knees, eyes can stay closed. We're gonna do some Sufi grind. So as you exhale, your upper body comes forward, gently drop chin towards chest. As you inhale, open up. Good morning, whoever just joined. And you can make these circles big or small, slow or fast, you choose. If you're feeling like you need a little energy boost, make them a little quicker. Feeling super slow and chill this morning, go slow, that's cool. The next time you come forward, reverse your circle, go the other way. Inhale, open, fill the heart. Exhale, come forward with a shh. Two more circles. Awesome. Come back to center. Give yourself a little side to side shake. Take your right ear towards your right shoulder. And then chin towards chest. And then left ear to left shoulder. Ah, I have all these phantom hairs flying all over me. Keep going, chin to chest. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. 
Lovely, seated cat cow. I'm gonna come at a side angle. As you exhale, round the spine, bringing chin towards your chest. As you inhale, open, extend the spine, chest, heart, open. Exhale, round. Adding a little bit of a pelvic tilt here as well. Two more. One more. Awesome. Plant your right hand down by the side. Reach left arm over. Pull the shoulder down, feeling a side body stretch. And then angle that stretch towards your where your right knee is going. Looking down towards your right knee. Feeling the lats, the side body lengthen. Come back to the side. Reach over. Find that ballerina. Pull the shoulder down. Take an exhale. Use your obliques to rise up. Go to the other side. Lean directly to the side. Pull that right shoulder down. Little forward lean towards the right knee, left knee, sorry. And then back side angle, rise up using your obliques on your exhale. Good. Flip those feet around, tabletop position. And we're going to start just by marching our hands a couple times. Feeling into the earth below you, connecting fingers and heels of the hands into the ground. Come into stillness, find a softening of the elbows, pull the shoulders down just like we did in the warm up, and then come into the breath again. So take an inhale, imagine your sits bones widening, the crown of your head lengthening. As you exhale with a shh, find that core connection again, draw those hip bones together. No movement here, just connecting into the breath and the core. A couple more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, shh, feel the earth below you. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Good. Wag the tail as you exhale. Lift your pelvis up, right <clears throat> hip towards right rib cage. Inhale back to center. Exhale, go the other way. Watching if you tensed up in the shoulders or straighten those elbows. Can you come back to softness and pull the shoulders down away from the ears? Booty full. Get it? Booty full. <laughs> that was the worst joke ever. Okay, come back to center. Stay center. You're going to extend your right arm, <clears throat> lengthen through the fingers, and then pull both shoulders down away from the ears. Option to stay here if you want to go further. Left leg extends behind you. Flex the ankle, point the toe to the ground. That will help you square that left hip so it's not opening to the sky. Hold here. Breathe into the core. Find that core connection for four, for three, two, and one, tap your left toe to the ground, keeping the ankle flexed, and then lift it back up, focusing on the glute. Keep going, tap, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Not arching the back here. Option to place that right hand down if you need to. Three, two, hold the leg up, tap the hand. Lower on the inhale, lift on the exhale for four. Three, two, bring them together. Lower both. Inhale, exhale, lift. Find the core. Shh. Lower and lift for three, two, uh, and one. Lower both. Shake it out. Do what feels good in your spine. And we go to the other side. Left arm reaches forward. Reach with those fingers. Pull both shoulders down away from the ears. La, 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 right leg goes back behind you, flex the ankle, point the toe straight down to the ground. Beautiful, hold here, take a breath, find the core. If you're going there with me, tap the foot as you inhale, lift it as you exhale. Four, three, two, one, hold it up, hand goes down, tap, inhale, exhale, lift. Three, two, and option to go both, lower inhale, lift, exhale. Shh. Four, three, find length through the heel and fingers, two, and one, plant them down. Do what feels good in your spine right now. <clears throat> you can make little circles with the pelvis, you can cat cow. Lovely, curl those toes under, downward dog, bent knees. And you can walk the dog here, bending one knee at a time. Oh, I'm probably going to kick my bookshelf in this new position. We shall see. Okay, right leg to the sky. You know the drill. Bend the knee, open the hip. 
and then shift the weight forward, right foot comes to the outside of the right hand. It might need help to get there, scooch it up a bit. You can drop the left knee or you can float the left knee. Reach the right arm to the sky as you inhale. Okay, I'll bring it down. Keep a little softening in that left elbow, keep flowing, reaching up and bringing it down. A little twist, bring it down. Next time the hand comes down, keep it there, leg goes back. Left leg to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip and then shift forward left foot outside of left hand, dropping or floating the right knee. When you're ready, inhale, reach left hand. Exhale, bring it back down. Next time the hand comes down, bring the leg back, downward dog. Okay, my favorite kind of flow, down dog to high plank. So when you inhale, you come back to a down dog. When you exhale, shift forward, shoulders over wrist, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, go back, down dog. You can come to the knees or you can stay on your toes for that high plank. Keep flowing with breath, really connecting into the core as you exhale and shift forward. Take your time here. Embrace that shaky, shaky. Three, two, and one. Switching it up slightly. Now we go from a down dog to a bear plank. So we come to knees right under hips, floating about an inch off the ground. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, bare knees right under hips. Watch if you've shrugged up in the shoulders. Can you keep them pulled away from the ears? Keep a softening in the elbows. You can drop all the way to the knees and then fire it back up to down dog or keep them floating an inch off the ground. Three, two, and down dog. Walk your hands towards your feet. Meet me in a forward fold and just shake it out. Shake the arm, shake the shoulders, nod the head, yes and no. Beautiful. On your next inhale, allow the hands to rise up the shins, flat. Exhale, fold. Do it again. Inhale, rise, flat back. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Hang out here for a sec. Find a core engagement. And then you're going to round your back and rise up one vertebrae at a time, articulating the spine. Head the last thing to stack. Once you're there, whoa, squat with me. Oh, this angle is so strange. Regular old squats. So sitting back in a little chair, knees on top of shoelaces-ish, not coming far forward over the toes. Doesn't have to be super deep. Rather you go with form. Cool, pause at the bottom of your squat. Check out your spine and rib cage. Are you popping the chest or arching the back or rounding the spine? A lot to think about. Come back to neutral. Hold four, hold three, hold two. Stay on the left leg, tap the right out and in. Adding some arms if you can coordinate. Four, three, two, send the leg back at an angle. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, send the legs straight back. Tap and tap. Eight, seven, six, strong arms. Five, four, three, two, come up on that left leg. Little bend in the left knee. Bring up the right knee. Extend the arms like a T. Shoulders back and down. Take it into your airplane. Sending that right leg back, just like we did in the bird dog, wear the right hip down, point the toe to the ground. Lengthen through the head, lengthen through the heel. Hold for four, three, two, rise up slowly for four, push into the ground with your left foot, three, two, and one. Squat again, round two, down and up. Find the breath, inhale down, exhale, rise. Four, three, two, come onto the right, out and in, out and in. Fancy arms, four, three, two, angle it back for six, five, four, three, two, go straight back, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, rise up on that right leg, soften the right knee. Whoa. Oh no, I'm all over the place. Shoulders back and down, ready? Airplane, let's go, send it back. Flexing that ankle, pointing the toe to the ground. Are the shoulders rising? How's the core, engage, four, three, two, rise up for four, three, two, and one. Jumping jacks, option one. Option two, anything work, you go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, high knees. Option one, pull those arms down like you need it. Option two, option three if you want. I don't. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jumping jacks. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, high knees. Let's go. Eight, seven, four, three, final round, jumping jacks. Eight, six, ah, four, three, high knees. Let's go for eight, seven, Keep breathing. Four, three, two, take a break. Shake it out, grab some water. Okay. I already can't breathe. Who joined? Let's see. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Alona. Good morning. Hi, Maggie. Okay, so <coughs> today, what we're doing. One move for 40 seconds, a version of that same move for 20 seconds, and then a 20 second rest. So your first move is a one foot squat with a pulse. So you're gonna be on your left foot like we did in the warm up with this guy. You're gonna be light on your right foot, all the weight, like 90% of the weight in your left foot. You're gonna go pulse, pulse, lift the other leg. Pulse, pulse, lift so you probably need to rise up slightly in order to get that leg up as opposed to being down here you might be able to it's tough for me pulse pulse rise up slightly like a baby squat lift the leg so that for 40 seconds and we're going to hold this position and just lift the leg for 20. Eek. then we'll do the other side our third move is a push-up option to go incline on a wall a tabletop, countertop, or you can go on the floor. So you're gonna do one push up, inhale down, exhale, rise up. This is a terrible angle, I'll do it on my bookshelf. Inhale down, exhale, rise up. And then option to touch opposite hip, go right, go left, repeat, push up. Same thing goes on the floor. Push up, knees or toes, find your core, touch right hip, touch left hip, repeat. Cool. So in those push-ups, hands are a little wider than shoulders, elbows come out to the side like here, not out here, down here. Better for the shoulders. Okay, let's do this thing. We're all gonna squat on our left leg to start. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. So we go pulse, pulse, stand up a little bit, kick that leg out to the side. 40 seconds of this, same leg. <sighs> Checking that our ankle, our knee, and our hip are all in alignment. So this supporting knee is not coming in or going really far out. Focusing as we lift on our side booties. This one's working to stabilize. This guy's working to lift. Five more seconds. And we come into our baby squat and just abduct the leg. Three, two, hold the baby squat. Lift, lower lift lower check out the shoulders are we rounding them can we pull them down away from the ears and find that length we have eight more seconds here and then we go straight into the other leg i know we don't we have a 20 second break three two one shake that leg out grab some water in the break if you want to 20 seconds seems generous maybe i'll take it down to 10. okay ready other leg three two and one let's go pulse pulse rise up slightly out to the side 
Find strength in this king leg. So you can point the toe or flex the ankle, but make it strong. No wet noodles. Good, find that breath. Exhale as you rise and kick out the leg, lifting pelvic floor, engaging abdominal core. 12 seconds to go. Shh. Ah! Second side is always way harder. Why is that? Four, three, find that baby squat just to kick out. Shh. Lovely, lovely. Keep breathing. Hands can be by your side at your hips or in prayer position. You can even outstretch them if you want a little bit of shoulder love as well. Five, four, three, two. Cool. We're going to push up. Incline will be a little less challenging, but still challenging. The floor is obviously the hardest. You are horizontal. We go in 10 seconds. One push up, super core connection to tap right hip, then left hip. Ready? Four, three, two, let's go. Wherever you are, I want your feet a little bit wider so you can have super still hips when you go to opposite hip. So the temptation for your body will be a twist as you try to touch opposite hip to make your life easier. But I want you to really engage your core, find stillness, and then touch. Even if you're doing this against the wall, it can be super challenging on the core if you move slowly with breath. Exhale to touch opposite hip. Inhale, plant the hand. Exhale, other side. Six seconds. Three. Hold your plank wherever you are. Just the hip tap, opposite hip tap. Go right, go left. Watch the shoulders aren't rising. Keep a softening in the elbows. Oh, this move is so satisfying. Makes you feel so strong when your core keeps you stable. Three, two, beautiful. Rise up, 20 seconds. So we're gonna do it all again. Any questions before we do round two? Pulse, pulse, lift. Okay, team. Let me just say before I move on, if you've got weight home and you want to, you can have weights at shoulders, weight like a goblet, or weights holding either end, one weight holding it at either end at your chest for this move. Okay, let's go. Three, left leg, two, and one. Left leg, pulse, pulse. Right leg, abducts. So you can always bring weights to Wednesday's class. I don't incorporate them, but you by all means can. Weights can be a small child or a dog. Anything that adds resistance will make this more challenging. But if you tune into your breath and your alignment, body weight is badass. Five, four, three, hold that baby squat, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Drive through that strong leg, either with a pointed toe or a flexed ankle. I like the flexed ankle. Shh. Ah. Yes, if you're feeling your left leg right crazy, that is good. Five, four, ah, three, two, whoo. Rise up, take that baby out. Right leg doing the work in four, three, two, and one. Super light on the left toe as we squat and then whoop, work it. Watch, if you see what I just did, I lean to the right side to get that leg up. Keep your body nice and tall. So the move is coming not from a side bend, but from the glute need working to kick it out. 15 seconds. Ugh. Keep going. Find that breath. Five, four, three, two, baby squat, lift. Low, maybe not touching the foot down, keeping it elevated the whole time. <sighs> oh. Find the tallest view you can. So pull those shoulders down, lengthen the neck, lengthen through the top of your head for five, four, three, two. All right, get ready to push up in 20 seconds. Push up, huge core engagement, exhale, touch right hip, 
touch left hip. Find that breath, that shushing will help connect. We go in five, four, three, two, inhale or exhale, push up. Keep a softening in the elbows, even at the top of your push up. Wide feet to help keep your hips still when you touch opposite hip. Oh God. Beautiful. As you fatigue, you might notice your chin is starting to drop to your chest. Can you lift it back up so your spine extends long all the way to the top of the head? 12 seconds to go and then we hold that plank and tap, tap. Four, three, two, hold your plank wherever you are. Exhale, tap hip, inhale, place hand back. Beautiful, adding the pelvic floor as you exhale. The pelvic floor lift, five, four, three, two, rise up slowly, nice job. Okay, cardio today. We have an E mom, E every minute on the minute. So every minute we do a certain set of moves and when then we rest until the end of that minute and then we do it again at the start of the next minute. Five times, you see that five times. These are your moves. You're gonna choose if you do six, eight, or 10 of everything, depending on how you're feeling today. First move is a tap squat, side to side, like this. You can add a little hop in between, or your tap squats can look like this. So option one, six, eight, or 10 of these, or option two, either of those. That's your first move. Second move is a jumping jack, either version. Six, eight, or 10 of those. Option three, good old hacky sack, touching the inner sole of your shoe. You can add a hop or you can run it. Final move, butt kicks. So if you're going super fast, I want you to do 10 per leg as opposed to 10 total. So it's tap squats, sacks, hacky sacks, butt kicks. Six to 10 of each of those. And then you stop, you rest. And then at the start of the next minute, we do it again. Any questions? So you're going in your own time, but if you wanna follow me, you can totally do that. Get ready to tap squat in three, two, and one. Here's option one, option two. Once you've done your 10, 10 jumping jacks. So the quicker you get through this, the longer break you get. That's 20 seconds down. And total of those hockey sacks, five per leg. 30 seconds down. Ideally you finish by 35 or 40 seconds to get a good break. 20 seconds left. Take a break, walk it out. Hi, Tammy. We go again in 15 seconds. So now you've done it once. You can tweak your numbers. You can tweak your intensity or the type of move you're doing. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Six to 10 of each. Move two jumping jacks. Move three hockey sacks. Move four butt kicks. You can add arms here. You can skip them. You can punch them. Halfway through the minute. 35 seconds done. Once you're done, walk it out and breathe. If you're finishing super quickly, maybe add on a couple of each move. We have three rounds to go. Whew, 10 seconds until we go again. Five, four, three, two, let's go. If this is your first ever EMOM, 
<laughs> welcome. They're brutal. They're big in the CrossFit world. They like their imams. <sighs> Keep going, 20 seconds down. <sighs> Add some arms in those butt kickers. That's 35 seconds down. Nice work, everybody. Keep it up. We have two more sets to go. Hi, Julia. Use water if you need it. Adjust numbers for this next round if you need to. More or fewer. Ready? Sort of, kind of. Three, two, let's do it. Ah. Jumping jacks, strong arms, either version of a jack you're doing. 20 seconds down. Ah. Butt kickers, that's 30 seconds. Add some arms, kick those thumbs. Ah. Beautiful, 40 seconds down, 20 rest. We have one more to do. We can do it. One more we get to do. Ready? Eight seconds. Shake it out. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Last time you're doing this, Imam. Last tap squats. Last jacks. So if that motivates you to do a few more reps or go a little faster. Twenty-five seconds down. Keep going. You stop when you're finished. And breathe. Hey, nice job, keep going all the way to the end. I see you. Okay, looks like we're all finished. Grab some water. Beautiful. Whew. Strength round two. We're gonna be our mat the whole time. Our three moves are as follows. Where should I go this way? Oh my gosh. So you're gonna be lying on your back. You're gonna have your hands behind the back of your head. And notice if your hands are completely on the ground, your elbows, if you're popping your chest or rib cage, if that's the case, like it is for me, bring those elbows up to the sky. So we're not coming out of our neutral spine. Sorry, I can't talk. Your ankles are gonna be crossed. You're gonna squeeze your inner thighs together. And then you're gonna lower one leg. The further down you drop it, the more intense this move will be. Watch your nurturing your low back up off the mat. So if you find this is as far as you can go, that's amazing. If you can go all the way down without your low back rising up off the ground, that's amazing too. Then exhale, squeeze inner thighs together. And then you open the knees like so, and then squeeze them up and back down. So lower, lift and squeeze, open, lift and squeeze. Same ankle behind for 40 seconds. You can have your head lowered or you can bring head, neck and shoulders up off the ground, resting your head in your hands, not pulling on your neck. That's your first move. Second move, you're gonna do a hamstring dominant glute bridge. You wanna be able to just touch your heels and then place your feet about a foot length further from that. Hands on the ground, glute bridge position, no arching of the low back. Hips are high, rib cage, belly down. We're gonna add movement, and that's that move. We're gonna do the other leg cross, lower, lift, open, close. And then our final move is on our tummy, hands at ears. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. I'll walk you through it when we get there. I didn't even talk about the 20 seconds 
a little push at the end. I'll get, I'll walk you through that when we get there too. Okay, let's all lie on our backs, hands interlaced behind the back of the head. <clears throat> and let's have our left ankle on top of our right. So our right is the one that we're gonna lower. Option, lift head, neck and shoulders up off the ground, keeping a little space between your chin and your chest. On for 40 seconds. So inhale, lower right leg, exhale, lift it back up, squeeze inner thighs like crazy. Inhale, open the knees, make a diamond shape with your legs. Exhale, close and squeeze. Lower, inhale, exhale, lift. Open, close. Beautiful, just like always, find strength in those legs. I'm pointing my toes. If you prefer to flex your ankles, you can. We have 10 more seconds here. Then we're gonna keep the legs lifted as they are and just focus on the inner thigh squeeze. Four, three, legs to the sky. Exhale, squeeze inner thighs, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Five, eight, seven, oh my gosh, six, five, four, three, Two, lower head, neck, and shoulders. Place your feet on the ground. Just touch your heels with your fingertips. And then take your feet at a foot length further than that. Hands on the ground, palms face down. Activate through the fingers, so reach for your heels. And then push into your feet. Lift your hips to the sky. Hold here. Keep pressing into your feet. Squeeze your bum like crazy. And then check your form. Watch, we're not sticking up our chest or rib cage and that we're not arching our low back. We want the move to drive from the hips. Hold here, just pressing into the ground, feeling into the glutes. This is a more hamstring heavy glute bridge. So if you're feeling hamstrings already, that's the point. That's a good thing. Push into big toe, push into little toe, push into heel. 12 more seconds and then we add a pulse. Reach with those fingers, activate through the hands. You're gonna feel a little tricep love too. Three, two, we pulse up an inch, down an inch. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Shh, connect into the core. <sighs> Zip those hip bones together. We are close here. I know, I know. Keep pushing into feet. Six, five, four, three, two. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. For four, three, ah, two, and one, interlace the hands at the back of the head, legs rise to the sky, left leg under right leg, round two of this guy, in four, three, two, and one, inhale as you lower the leg, exhale, lift and squeeze inner thighs, inhale, diamond, exhale, lift and squeeze, head, neck, and shoulders can be lowered, or you can lift them up, resting head in the hands, and imagine if your head is off the ground that you're pulling your head off your neck. So find length through the body. Woo. Keep going, keeping. Six, five, four, three. Hold the legs up. Exhale as you squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Oh my gosh, I hope you're shaking as much as I am. Keep going. Eight seconds and we're flipping onto our tummies. Five, four, uh, three, two, roll over to one side, flip all the way over. Hands at the ears. So I want your feet to be um, as wide as your mat and I want you to reach with the legs. So point the toes. Activate, you'll feel up the hamstrings and glutes. Find a core connection. So I want a little bit of a belly, bu of belly button lift. Like there's a blueberry under your belly button, not just sinking into the ground. So engage that core and we are on. Lift as you exhale, inhale as you lower. Again, imagine someone's pulling your head away from your body. So the lift is coming from the upper body, not the um, scrunching of the low back of the lumbar. So find length, find lift, point those toes. 
find the breath. As you exhale and lift, find the lift of the button as well. Keep going, pull those shoulders down away from the ears. Eight more seconds and we hold the top and we pulse it. Three, hold the top, pulse up with a shh. This is a great position to find that pelvic floor lift. Hold in a P as you exhale and pulse it up, up, shh, shh, six, five, four, three, two, lower down. Wiggle the hips a couple times. We are doing round two. Roll it back onto your back. Ankles crossed. Any questions? Let me know. Okay, round two. Option, head, neck, and shoulders are off the ground. We are on. Inhale, lower that right leg. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, diamond. Exhale, squeeze. It starts to bug your neck. Please feel free to lower head, neck, and shoulders down. And you might just have to drop the leg a little less low to keep that lumbar spine in neutral. Find the breath. If you're shushing as you exhale right now, I love you so much. You're making me so happy. Three, two, hold it up. Squeeze as you exhale. Shh. Inhale, release. I love you all, even if you're not shushing. <laughs> shushing is not a prerequisite of me to love you. I love you all. Keep going, 10 seconds. We are almost there, four, three, two, slowly lower head, neck and shoulders and feet to the ground. Hamstring dominant glute. So find the heels, send the feet a little further out. Hands to the ground, activate through the fingers and arms. Take an inhale, fill. Exhale, push into the feet, lift the hips to the sky. We are on. Take your time coming into your form. Check your alignment. Check if you're arching low back to get your hips a little higher. You don't need to. Come down slightly, drive up from the hips. Push into your whole foot here. Why don't we check our knees too while we're at it? So again, just like in a squat, hips, knees, ankles, all are all in the same line. Don't want our knees coming in or opening out wide to the side. There's a time and a place for that, but not now. Eight seconds and then we pulse. Three, two, one, let's go. Exhale, pulse, inhale, lower. Beautiful, connect into the core. Feel your transverse abs, your deepest level of core. Engage. Woo. Ooh, hamstring dead bomb. Three, two, slowly lower down with me for four. Three, two, oh my gosh, and one. On your next exhale, lift those legs to the sky. Left under right. Hands behind the head. Ready? Final round of this. Three, two, and one. We are up. Lower. Lift and squeeze. Open. Lift and squeeze. <sighs> Lovely. Keep it up. So if you are a fan of torturing yourself and <laughs> you want another workout today, Dania is teaching a bar class at 7.30 Vancouver time tonight um she promises it won't be quite as intense as her normal bar classes because it is a nighttime class i don't believe her for a second three two hold it up exhale squeeze inhale release exhale Did she engage. actually promise that well it was like it was like she was thinking about it i think she said <laughs> yeah i'm thinking about it i know she has it in her Three, two, is Dania even on this? We love you, Dania. Okay, lower head, neck and shoulders down. Come into fetal position, roll over. Ugh. All right. So if it was a little intense for you to have your hands at your ears, you can always place fingertips on the ground and use your hands for a little bit of support to rise up. We go in three, 
two and one point those there as wide as your mat engage the glutes exhale lift inhale lower find that core engagement a little bit of a belly button lift so if you find at all that you're feeling this in a bad way in your bar spine don't lift up so high take a little bit out of it activate through the legs keep going five seconds and then we pulse three two hold the top pulse can you find the pelvic floor lift as you exhale 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 ah! so hard back eight seven stay with me six five push four three two and one plant the hands send the bum back all the way to the hips all the way to the heels i mean rest your forehead heavy on the mat take a little breath here but don't get too comfortable we have an emom coming up make your way to standing slowly or you can stay on your knees to watch me demo round two okay different moves same format six to ten of these moves you're going to tap a foot out to the side while you cross body jab the other way so you choose the speed you can also get some height if you want to intensify that's your first move second move high knees but like medium height so nothing too intense and then i want you to amp it up and do six to ten even higher final move i'm super sorry about this you're going to plant your hands walk your feet back into a plank and then you're going to either tap out directly to the side or tap up up intensity option at a hop or a full boom 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 then if you finish that really quickly i'll invite you to hold the plank for a little bit longer if that's too much on the ground you can either just come into a plank on your knees and hold it like this and then i'll just finish at 35 seconds or so or you can do the same kind of thing here in a against a wall the steeper the incline the harder it will be so if your feet are further out behind you it'll be harder really exhale engage as you tap it out any questions i'm cueing you don't worry so first move is that side tap with a punch six to ten total so three to five per leg in three two and one let's go after this medium height high knees nothing too crazy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then pick it up get those knees even higher for second ten 10 total, five per side. And you're coming into your plank, six to 10 tops directly to the side or bringing the foot up to the outside of the same hand. That's 35 seconds done. You should be finishing in about now. Make your way to standing. So adjust your number for round two if you need to. Take it down to six or eight. We go in 10 seconds. Woo! Ready? Three, two, and one. Let's punch. High knees, 10 total, medium high knees. And then amp it up, get them really high. Strong arms. Plant the hands, Spidey. Again, super awesome option against a wall. That's 30 seconds down, finishing in five or 10 seconds. Beautiful, 20 seconds to go. Ideally, you're finishing right about now. Nice, Julia. Round three in 12 seconds. We're doing five of them. 
Ready? Ah, three, two, and one. Let's go. Twist the spine. Really get into the obliques. Exhale as you punch. Medium knees. Relax those shoulders. High, high knees. 20 seconds done. In that plank, wherever you are, soften those elbows slightly, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Take it back to the very beginning of class. 30 seconds done. Ugh. 30 seconds done. Breaking if you need to now. Not if you need to, you should break now. You need the break. 14 seconds until we go, round four. It's 10, 23, this is the last push in our workout. Ah, ready? Four, three, two, let's go. Round four. Probably the ugliest round, the hardest. So dig deep. Can you get those knees a little higher? Really connect into core in the plank, wherever you are. Spidies are the worst, the worst. 30 seconds done. Hold the plank if you're finished, if you want for another five seconds or so. That's 40 seconds done, take a break. Oh my God. Last round. Ready? This is it. Final push. Four, three, two. Let's do this thing. Last push. I invite you in this round. What am I doing? Once you're done, to hold a plank until the end of the minute. So do your spideys or your plank taps. And then just hold a plank on your hands, your elbows, knees or toes. Your favorite plank, if there is such a thing. 32 seconds down. If you don't want to hold the plank, drink some water, do whatever. That works, you've worked super hard. 15 seconds to go wherever you are. Lengthen the neck. We got 10, nine, stay with me, eight, engage your core, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. If you're standing tall, same swing against a wall. Soften the knees. Ooh, and breathe. If you are standing, make your way down to the mat. Joining your friends here in child's pose. <sighs> Lovely. Check for tension here in the shoulders of your back. If you can, give a little wiggle and a softening. <sighs> Slowing down the breath, taking bigger gulps of air. Deeper exhales. You take your right arm and weave it through under your left armpit, looking over to the left side. Your left arm can stay where it is, or you can reach it around your back for a little bit of a heart opening. Only if it feels good. Whew, that was a good sweat. I needed that. Switch sides, same, same. Left arm weaves under. Listening to both sides of your body. So what feels good for one side might not for the other. And just honoring that. Back to center, reach your right arm across the left side of your mat. Feeling a nice side body stretch.
other side, left over to the right side. Nice work today, team. If ever you have any questions about any of the moves or anything physical activity related that I can help with, please feel free to ask me or message me. I'm happy to help if I can. Coming with tabletop position, we're gonna do a cat cow, but I want you to lead with your pelvis this time. So as you inhale, sticking up your tailbone, allowing the spine to drop down and then the chest opens and then looking up slightly. As you exhale, tucking the tailbone, rounding low, mid, upper back, looking back between your knees. Big juicy breaths. Keeping those shoulders pulled back and down and thinking really about flexion and extension of the spine as opposed to shoulder blades separating and coming together. So that might mean taking a little bit of depth out of your cat cow. But I really want you to be focusing on just the flexion and extension of your back. And then anything that feels good for you. If you want to still cat cow, go for it on a little side to side bending. Okay. I'm going to roll my mat a couple times. We're going to come up on one knee. So if it feels better for your knees to roll under, go for it. Stepping the right foot forward. I said right, but I did left. Right foot forward. And rising up 90 degree bend in both knees and right knee on top of right ankle. From here, tuck your tailbone under so you feel lengthening in the left hip flexor. Boop. And then left hand comes to right knee and open up to the right side. Ooh, spicy. Come back to center, lean forward to grab that left foot and keep that forward lean. Quad stretch. If you'd rather do this standing, please go for it. Not everybody likes this on their knees. Awesome. Release that foot down slowly. Hands come down. Switch. Right knee down. Left foot forward. Rise up. 90-90. And then tuck. Pubic bone to belly button. Right hand comes across. Open up to the left. Big breath here. Holy boob sweat, like crazy. Ha! Ah! Come back to center. Forward lean. Lift up that right foot. Quad stretch. Finding length through the top of the head here. Not dropping chin to chest. Beautiful. Release that leg. Hands come down. Curl the toes under for a downward dog. And then walk hands to your feet. Back in the forward fold where we started. Take an inhale, halfway lift, long neck. Exhale, fold. Two more times, inhale. Biggest inhale you can take. Exhale, maybe a horsey breath. Last time. And exhale. Make your way to standing, maybe rolling up. Maybe reverse swan diving up. Once you're there, soften the knees. <clears throat> Inhale, reach the arms. Hands to prayer, pull down. Do it again. Inhale, reach up. Grounding down through the feet as you pull the hands down. Last one. Tallest version of you. Reach. Ground. Beautiful, 1031, uh-oh, we went long, sorry. Thank you all for coming.